two households, both alike as farmers, in the dry Midwest, where we lay our scene. The year is 1865. Meet the Wheatons, a family originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Three years ago, in 1862, the Homestead Act was passed, granting 160 acres of free land to any man willing to try his hand at farming. So Mr. Wheaton, one of these men, has just packed up his things and is on the move to Kansas, where he will start anew as a wheat farmer with his family. Hey Betty, check this yeah. out. So I've been doing our accounting, right? Yeah. It's 1875 right now. We moved out here 10 years ago. Wow. Now we've got 40 workers. Can you believe it? Uh, we've got a lot of big machinery. We've even got a combine. Um, and we've been saving our money pretty well. We haven't really spent it on any uh, unnecessary items. Yeah, I know. Um, we do, however, have John, our eldest son, out of college, which is taking a lot of our money. Hopefully he'll further our family. He will. I know. Education is good. Listen to what... It is breaking into a clarion cry, which will, will be heard around the world, and thrones will fall, and crowns will crumble, and the divine right of kings and capital will fade away like the mist of the morning, when the angel of liberty shall kindle the fire, fires of justice in the hearts of men. I think we should join the Farmers Alliance. Well, I want to join the Farmers Alliance. Yeah, but you're a woman. Well, she did it, and she's talking to us. She says, their mothers, wives, daughters, sisters, cousins, aunts. I think I can do it. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, uh, did my issue of a play cowboy come yet? Not yet, Jed. My year is now... 1869. Meet the Corny Covers. Like the Wheatons, they tried to get free land from the Homestead Act, but were not granted any. They decided to move out anyway, hoping to become tenant farmers for another family. Hailing from Hartford, Connecticut, Mr. Corny Cover put his family into debt when he lost his job due to drinking on the job and his wife died in childbirth. Hopefully the fresh western air will breathe new life into their family. Pa, be quiet. To no pa. offense to people out there. 
We try to sell all of our corn with some other people so we can get some fair prices for it if we join in a co-op. Oh, they ain't gonna you, buy none of our corn! You come with us in a few hours, you can come they, see the meeting. Pa! I'm, I'll have with you! This. I'll have with you! You can just keep going and you just, you're just talking to strange people who come around and, and try to steal our corn and I'll have it! Thank you, I'll have it! I'll have it with it! festivities. Please remove, all, please remove all notes, books, pocketbooks, cheat sheets, and crib sheets from your laps. Thank you. As you all know, the National Grange of the Patrons of Husbandry was founded by Oliver Kelly in 1867. We were originally a social club, and we all invite you to the dance this afternoon. For us to become something more. Fellow farmers, let us unite as brothers and sisters. Goddamn feminists! And help us fix our plight. We're establishing cooperatively owned stores and warehouses in every county. In fact, there's one just down the road in Hickeyville. That their town is a gift! Yeah, they spoon fed it to us. Amen. And I encourage you to all join. In addition, we are trying to pass Granger laws in many of the western states. These laws regulate the unfairly high storage fees and transaction and transportation fees that the railroads are stealing from us farmers. So, keep this in mind and I hope you take action in your communities. Now, let's enjoy the dance. nothing left. It's just me and three workers. Look, all we have is hand tools, and I had to sell all my mechanical tools to get some money. We have virtually no profits from the last crop season. I think we're going to have to move soon. Nothing worked. What year is it again? 1887. 1887. We had a drought this summer and we might have to give up our farm because we're not, all our wheat was gone and and the prices too, like we used to be able to sell them for a hundred and three dollars a bushel but now now it's only 68 because because Europe's not buying our, our wheat anymore. They won't buy American wheat and I don't want to give up our farm, but we might have to. No, no more! We're running out of wheat! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I don't do the first. <laughs> 